Welcome back, guys. So, just had a fight, a bar fight, and saved the man. I didn't want to save, but hey, we're nice people. We're nice people. I'm not angry anymore. I'm not angry anymore. I'm totally calm. So, let's go ahead. See what we're up next to. What a prick. So, next things. Please run. Can I go check the hammer coal? Man with the hair lip. <clears throat> Find the house of the man with the hair lip. Find out what's being attempted all your life. So we might need to look through newspaper articles or the map of London. It's the map of London and it's a right. police raid. Let's see, eighteen ninety-two. I'd love to see a newspaper from eighteen ninety-two. To be fair, I mean in times of. Online news, that's probably a nice change. Police raid, there we go. The well-known private detective Sherlock Holmes, in collaboration with Scotland Yard, has carried out a raid on one of London's most dangerous and affluent street mobs, the Westminster Gang. Regrettably, and as usual, the police attempt failed to operate smoothly. During the raid, one innocent person was gravely injured. The man's identity was revealed as Hagen Cole, apparently being the brother of villain Jack Cole. Doctors are fighting for his life, but with little hope of success. Police had managed to arrest three of the gang members, but their leader, Jack Cole, was later released due to lack of solid evidence. It is said that the gang has strong political connections with certain influential people, including judges, politicians, and police officials, but true justice fears nothing. Or is that no longer the case? Oof. What have I gotten myself into? Ask Stra to apprehend Jack Cole. What? Back to Scotland Yard then. Coolio. Mr. Holmes, you're still alive. I can tell that that displeases you. Oh, a faulty deduction for once. I was about to say, I'm not sure if he's pleased to see me. Due to the attempt made on my life, I would like you to apprehend Jack Cole. All right, Mr. Holmes, we'll apprehend him immediately. Inspector, the suspect has been apprehended. There you are. He's all yours. No need to thank me. Now oh, that was easy. Let's go talk to him then. Oh, where is he? Maybe there. There we go. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. So, Jack the Hammer Cole, we meet again. Oh, why am I here? Don't pretend that you don't know. You're a suspect in the case of an attempt made on my life. Rubbish. Just like the old days, eh? Arresting me on suspicion. You've got nothing. Oh, no. How about the revenge for the trouble that I brought to your gang? And also your brother. Don't you dare mention my brother. Do you know what happened at Baker Street that night? I do know, but I had nothing to do with it. And where were you at the time? I was at my tavern all night long. I see. At the same tavern we've been to. Your brother was hurt. It was a regrettable accident. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I can hardly be blamed for that. What? You bastard. You're the one responsible for him becoming a cripple. He was innocent. An accident, you say? 
Oh, I can't wait for the moment that you get whacked proper. Quad error demonstrate. <laughs> That's your proof. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. Yeah, that was probably the wrong approach. I went to your place and I saw a man with a hair lip arriving to meet with you. What business do you have with him? Business? He's a regular customer, that's all. He's the man I would change. The sidewalk when I meet him at the night. And what about the suitcase that your regular customer brought to you? What? What are you talking about? Oh. Ellie Marks. Let's see. I forgot what's in the suitcase. Valuable loot. Why, the suitcase full of stolen silverware that I found in your secret room? What? How? You search my room. It's not stolen. I often buy a lot of different things and sell them on after. It's all legal. Oh. Oh, I believe you. Let's go. Scoring fight. Oof, look at his nose. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with his nose? It wasn't more than one fight. Let's see. Let's see. Is there anything we can investigate? Large chain, expensive. Tattoo. And tattoos. It's the hammer at least, right? self affected Definitely. The jack. Alright, validate. I'm time. Do do do. do. Touch this. Jack Cole, the leader of the Westminster Gang and owner of the legal gambling room. His valuable possessions indicate that he's a wealthy man. He has a lifelong connection with fighting. He's a trained boxer. Jack Cole is a proud man who likes to boast about being the hammer. Alright. Let's go to the deduction board. See what we can find. Jack the Hamlet has a strong motive to go to Sherlock Holmes. He wants revenge for his brother who was severely injured during police were gone to Sherlock Holmes. True that, true that. See, that's nothing to connect, right? Alright, that's it for now. Good. Back to Lestrade, maybe? Ah, examine his belongings. Oof. The hammer. Personalized thuggery. How novel. The hammer's everywhere. Smoke. Expensive cigarettes. Completed. Interrogating him. Find the house. Now, how can I find the house? I mean, I do have to go back to the map, right? It's probably some the same thing like we did with Epic Forest. Let's try and go back then. I know already that I won't get the MC Hammer song out of my head all day. That's gonna be fun. The map of London and its surroundings. Do we have evidence? Butler's pawn shop located in Lambeth Street. Where's the pawn shop? Where's Lambeth Street? I mean.
looking forward to it. Our suspect with his family near their house. Uh, one door, a lamp above. Kind of destroyed wall on the left of the door. Okay. Hello, mate. What are you up to? Just telling in the back yet? Doing some Tai Chi? Yeah, it's just a single door with a lamp above. Shouldn't be too difficult. That's the pawn shop. Can I go in there? No, can't. No lamp. There we go, a lamp. Ah. We're there. I don't know if I just want to go in there. After they try to kill me. Let's go for it, I think. Good day to you, madam. Good day, sir. Is she the housekeeper? Oh. A nun. Okay. Poor eyesight. Empty chimney Bible. A book. That's so weird. Why do I have to click here to observe this? It's driving me insane. Religious image. Jeremiah's mother is a religious woman of middle age. She lives a quiet life, seldom venturing outside. Her home contains religious pictures and symbols. She's short sighted and wears spectacles with strong lenses. I'm here to see your son. Jeremiah? He's not at home now. Might I ask you a few questions about him? Perhaps we could speak inside. I don't know who you are, sir, but I'll have to ask you to leave right away. She won't speak with a stranger. All right, Sherlock. Gain entry to Jeremiah's house. Let's go through the window then. Window, window. There we go. Window open. Ah. Can I use this somehow? Maybe I have to go backyard or something. Can I go from this house, maybe. Sorry, I'm working. I can't open the door. Yeah, why is everyone's working from home here? There, maybe. Oh, I can't. How am I supposed to go through there? Is there a way to get behind this house? Like some kind of backyard or something? <laughs> because I'm probably one of the best detectives in the world here, I found out how to enter the house by accident. I have to change my clothes to pasta outfit. I accidentally went back to Scotland Yard and when I tried to go back to Lambert Street, he said I had to change my clothes. So that's how we did it. To be fair. Uh, there we go. Pasta's outfit. Go to the makeup table. table. Let's... Use this one. We'll change, get some glasses, just to look smart. There we go, that's the we are. That's so cool how you can change this appearance completely. Just a few clicks. Yeah, I like that. Right, go back to Lambert Street. First, I should speak with Wiggins. He's always on Baker Street. Wiggins. My good boy Wiggins. Not a word. Into your clothes and come. Shush. Oh, that's cool. I like the Wiggins part. 
maybe we can do something like this again. Wiggins, an exorcism. Protocol 2.5 on Lambeth Street. Yeah, you can count on us, Gov. An exorcism. Bro. Golden cock. The death of a cock has resulted in two murders. The ensuring altercation led to Dick Merman. Seriously? Cock and Dick in one? Oh, come on. Gotta be kidding me. The gentleman accused of killing the aforementioned aforementioned feathered fellow received blah, 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 receiving a fatal knife wound and his father who came running to his assistance being beaten to death. The two boy brothers, the two men Two men responsible for these terrible murders have since been locked away at Scotland Yard. That means I have to go back to Scotland Yard sooner or later. But for now, back to Lambert Street. We're ready, Gov. Gov. We're ready, Gov. Okay, boy. Um. Someone close the door. I should find a way to attract the attention of Jeremiah's mother. Uh huh. Uh oh, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Little rascal! Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. Thank you, Father. You are so kind. Those brats are always causing trouble. Now, where are my manners? May I offer you a cup of tea as a small thank you? I don't know if... Uh, God bless you, sister. My name is Margaret Thorne. It is an honor that God sent you to me. You appear grieved, sister. Is it because of those children? Oh, no. It is my son, Jeremiah. I fear that he is doing bad things, father. How bad? I don't know. He has just become nervous and angry and rude. And he used to be such a nice boy. These days he won't spend any time at all with us. Not even with Janet, his younger sister. He hides himself away inside his room and locks the door. And he won't open it for anyone. And where is your son? I don't know where he is. He hasn't come back from last night. I'm so worried. Perhaps his absence is connected with his job. Where does he work? I don't know if he has a job, Father. I've asked him several times, but he just gets angry and won't speak. Perhaps Jeremiah is being poorly influenced by his friends. I wouldn't know. He never mentions any friends. I am afraid that he could be possessed by the devil himself. He's changed so drastically lately. He won't tell me anything, and he flies into rages and shouts at me. I don't know what to do. But the devil himself, such a demon, bro. Don't distress yourself, sister. You were right to confess. Truly, I, I can feel an evil presence in this apartment. Oh, God. Allow me to search for the demon in this house. God bless you, father. Oh, this poor old woman was scaring it to death. Bookcase and books. Huh? Bookcase and books. Possessed wood and words. Expel your literary demons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Holy Spirit, save your pans from demons and poor musicianship! <laughs> the demons are haunting the pans. <laughs> window, window, window frame. frame. I must protect you from <laughs> the 
Is that it? Did we use our exorcism correctly here? <laughs> oh, Father, please help us. What's next? Hello? That's all right. Oh, there we go. Wooden door, iron handle, battle the demon, unholy vandal. Sister, you saw that the demon has taken shelter in Jeremiah's room. I should go there alone. God save us. Sister, wait for me outside. This fight will be a fierce one. God help us. I'll do what you say. That's a clever one. That was probably one of my favorite parts in this game so far. A schematic for a homemade bomb. Oh. This is probably Janet, Jeremiah's sister. The mother never searches this room, right? One of the solenoids for creating a bomb. Bro. This is evidence enough to put Jeremiah behind bars. He's a full-on terrorist. It looks as though this letter was torn up in rage. I should reassemble the fragments to read what was written. Yes, I should. Like this here, let's write all it by the shape first. Let's see that. Something in the middle, left side, male side somewhere, top side, middle, Those two are connected now. This is connected. This is connected. Hey, Jeremiah, I just like the to remind you. Jeremiah received a threatening letter from somebody known as the Dark. That this word. Oh, hello. I just like to remind you that this world can be a cruel and forgiving place, especially for those who don't keep their promises to finish what they started. It would be pretty rotten if someone you loved or cared, such as your sister, ended up in a joy house. Bro, he's a pin. He was at the center of a notorious case from 1888. Now back to the newspaper then. To escape from London. It's over. The demon is defeated. Oh, thank you. Bless you, Father. Now, pray for Jeremiah's soul and give thanks, sister. Goodbye. Lord be praised. Goodbye. So we have some new clues for the deduction board. Let's see. Home bomb components. That's for sure. Threats. Attacker. Uh... Jeremiah is the person when we saw in the tavern and the same man who made the tavern home's life. He sure is. Attempt to, oh, oh let, let's see it first. So one person, visitor, the man of the Holland, uh, all right, Tom Holland's life. So 
From my visit, Jack, the Jack Lamb called to discuss the attempted assassination of Sherlock Holmes and discuss the next stage of the plan. Only to bring about containers to light and probably to sell. Ah. Huh. I mean, why would he bring a suitcase if he only wants to discuss the next stage of the plan? That's weird. My guess is he was bringing a bag containing stolen items to sell, to get money, to maybe leave London together with his sister, right? I mean, he's the son of a religious woman, blah blah, so he's probably not that strong of a criminal. I mean, his intent is not very bad, is it? Let's just go with this. Be positive, guys. Be positive. Trust in the people. Trust in humanity. That's a bad joke. Can we... somehow... connect this? We just use different things here. And we can't, so let's go back then to what we chose before. Oh. It got red. We're staying positive. There we go. Yeah, all right. Only one clue left. So far, so good. A lot more to get, I guess. Back to Baker Street, then. My name is Sherlock Holmes. It is my business to know what other people don't know. Seriously. When are we getting rid of this guy? It was 1888, right? Yes. Go then. The Dart in prison. Sherlock Holmes and Scotland Yard have caught the famous Walworth gang leader, Percy the Dart Fleming. The Walworth gang were involved in criminal activities, including extortion in addition to operating several brothers, the most famous of which being London's White, White Swan. The police raid has created significant financial difficulties for the gang. The judge has found the Dart guilty and has sentenced him to seven years in prison. Here it is. Okay. Go back to Scotland Yard then. Yeah. Let's go. That's a lot of traveling on this part. To the strat then. Hello. It's me. Ta -da. Lestrade, I have a suspect in our case. It's Percy Fleming. Can you apprehend him? I'll give the order to the constables. Inspector, we have the second suspect for you. Now, just admit that Scotland Yard is looking after you well, eh? Well, I'd be of little use to you dead. True that. Very confident in himself. Hello, my friend. Where are you? Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you, Percy the Dart Fleming. Huh. It's the flopper. Flopper? You're aware of what happened to Baker Street the other night. I'd say I'm a little luckier than that. Well, I don't give a fig. I don't give a fig. They all have scars. I mean, are they fighting all day? What were you doing two nights ago around 1 a.m.? I was at the White Swan. The White Swan? The brothel that you own. That can't be counted as an alibi. What do I need an alibi for? Have you seen his jewelry on his hand, on his right hand? Oof. Does the name Jeremiah ring any bells with you? It's the first time I've heard it. Nah. How about this threatening letter that bears your name? Oh, I remember now. A threat? Come on. Just a reminder for him to pay his debts. It's just a small one, and it's a matter of principle. How do you know him? Ah, oh, he's always coming around, begging for odd jobs. But he just talks rubbish, and he's off his head. 
There you go. He wasn't dead. He needed some money. Do you have any business with Jack the Hammer Cole? I have. He sometimes provides my business with goals. But he's stupid. A hot-headed clown. Yeah. I'd be worried about him if I were you. Yes? He told me what you did to his brother. And, well, well let's just say he hates you. Let's go, more scars. Gang warfare. It's fashion, definitely. Expensive and eccentric clothes. More tattoos. Yeah. Westgate prison. There you go, look at this. Oof, that's worth a fortune. Vimos into Paris. That, what's that? Dog cat red thingy. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Let's go. Percy Fleming, also known as the Dart, is the leader of the wealth of gang and the owner of several brothels. Fleming's business is going well. He's an affluent man. Fleming is a fashionable and eccentric man who takes care of himself. The scar on his face bears witness to his participation in gang warfare. The Dart spent seven years in Westgate prison and was only recently released. I'm back into trouble. More belongings, maybe? Oh, that's a nice book. Okay, codes. I need to find something to encrypt those. Another batch. A spintria used in the brothels of ancient Rome. Now that's nice. Nice thing. Well, that's rather tasteless. That all. Oh. Yeah, we gotta find the codes, right? In the brothers, maybe. I don't know. That means we gotta go back to the hammer and ask him also. Come here, mate. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me about the business that you have with Percy Fleming. What? I don't have any business with him. No? Oh. Oh, you supply girls to his institution. He's confessed. Well, he's a liar. A liar. Why did you tell them I supply girls to your Oh. Uh... Hey? Oh, I don't want to be with him in a cell right now. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. What's this note? I don't know. It was among your belongings. So what? Hmm. Okay. Well, guys, I think we're gonna end up this ep uh, the episode here. Probably found out enough for now. Did a lot of traveling. And yeah, I'm stoked to see what's up next. Because those two. Oof, I really don't want to be in the same room. Unless it escalates, they're all dead. Alright. Bye.